Beginnings 93. What's up, DBB93 Squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our old subscribers for returning. Goes good. This will be our daily reading for August 30th. Ooh, ooh. You guys, kid you not, I feel like we were just in March like three days ago. And now we're here going into a new month of September. Time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> so let's get into your energy first. And then we will go into the blockages as well as action either you will be taking or that will be coming towards you. And then the outcome. So let's get it popping. Let's see. You have the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. Okay. Ooh, ooh. So, excuse me. <clears throat> the next card we have is when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. Attract that support, then. Okay. Uh, let's get one more card. I, I'm feeling bold on this Thursday. Let's get one more card. <laughs> we have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. You had to excuse me. I had to take a, a little swiggle wiggle of water. Water is good. Make sure you guys drink water today. Okay. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what your blockages are. Okay. We got the high priestess. Mm hmm. We have the Five of Swords. So let's get started on this first. Straight out the gate. I feel like with the High Priestess being here and with the Five of Swords being here, there's a situation that you are in the dark about. You don't know um, what's going on. You feel like it's a conflict for you because you're unaware. So it, it's not such a bad conflict. I mean, a bad blockage. Um, I feel like within intuitively you know that there's something that needs to come out but someone hasn't quite said it to you yet um you could feel like in this situation you have no control you may feel as though other people around you know about this situation more than you do and it doesn't necessarily mean they have to be directly around you or physically around you this could be with uh a work situation or a love situation. Somebody also uh, birthday could be coming up, and you feel like it's a, you know what you feel like it's a blockage because there's a surprise party being planned. I'm done. I can't even. Okay, you feel like that's a blockage for you. Oh, right now. But for others of you, I feel like the. High Priestess being here is things coming to the light um, around a situation that you did have conflict in. Maybe you didn't have clarity um, or maybe you didn't quite know where things were going to go. You could have, excuse me, <clears throat> you could have been cut to communication because swords is communication. And you may not have seen movement either just yet, so... That could be what's going on. Let's go into the next cards. And before I go to the next cards, you guys, remember, take what resonates and let what doesn't fly by by. And also, if I say he or she, make sure you flip it to tailor to your situation. Because this is a general reading, so it will not be specifically for your complete situation. The next card we do have is the Wheel of Fortune. So, the Wheel of Fortune is 
things moving in your favor. Um, it could be you feeling as though <clears throat> you haven't quite seen the complete recognition for all the loyalty you had towards the situation. I do feel like the will of fortune is things turning in your favor. You may have seen things turn in your favor, but it's like you're bypassing it a little bit because it's not the whole big shebang, okay? Um, and that's a blockage for you because you, you may keep going back and forth into the old feeling of not having enough. If it's not having enough, it's not being chosen, okay? And it's not that you're not going to get chosen, okay? I feel like this energy is just here to let you feel how that feels before you go into greatness. And again, it's a blockage. The next card we do have is the King of Cups. So we go back into the reading from yesterday, August 29th, where it's an emotional embrace that's coming towards you, but you can't quite feel it physically. You feel it energetically, and by this point, depending on where you're at in your journey, you should know that this energy is coming towards you because it should already have either hit you or it's about to hit you. It's not about to hit you like a car, though. So that's a good thing. It's just going to tap you on the shoulder and let you feel that great energy. Um, also, the King of Cups is someone that you want to be emotionally open with. Someone that you want them to express to you how they actually feel. And the reason I say that is because our next card is the King of Swords. This person could be cut off to their emotions. They could be... They could be hiding their emotions from you and not quite speaking their truths about how they truly feel about this relationship. They could have spoken their truth in the past, but it wasn't in complete detail. You know how sometimes we want to hear, I love you, you know, you're the only one for me. And this person could have been very vague when they said it. They could have been like, oh yeah, I don't want to be with no one else. Um, but then... You guys could have went into the separation because it is a sword. This person would have been a person that cut communication to you. So it's you feeling all these emotions boggled up inside of you. And you're trying to figure out how to release those emotions. Because you know that if you continue to harbor that, when it comes to your insecurities popping back up, I feel like some of you are afraid of when your insecurities pop back up that you won't get this relationship that you truly desire, okay? And with that being said, I do feel like you're going to get this relationship. Now, to flip it, because we do have another situation that's here. With this King of Cups, and this King of Swords, you have two people, okay? And the two people, one person is someone that's very emotionally involved. And you know how they say, um, which I think is so crazy how they say Drake is too emotionally involved. That's his feminine trait. I don't feel like that's a feminine trait. I do not at all. I feel like he's very in tune with the way he feel. And a lot more people should be in tune with the way they feel, you know? Because sometimes we do things and we don't realize the other person's feelings. So I feel like one person will be coming towards you with that type of love. With the love that you wish to seek. And a, another person may come towards you that's kind of shut off to love but they hide it very well so if you were to go into a relationship with them the relationship would be a little rocky okay you may have met this person or this is a new person that will be coming in towards you it's a test it's a test to see well okay let me say this for some of you it's a test to see how loyal you are to this situation and how much faith you have in the universe, okay? So, one person 
this this new person I'm feeling could be just like the people you had in your past, okay? And this person, they have all the glitz and the glamours that make you go, ooh and ah. And it's like, but what's behind that mask that they're hiding? What's behind what they're doing? And, and it's not to be mean or rude or anything, but at this point, you should be looking into people who are around you, not just in a relationship, but people who are around you. And you should be saying, what are your motives? You know, to yourself. But also, you can say it to them. If you feel like their intentions aren't that great, you should be asking them, like, what's going on? What's up? Because I feel like with this King of Swords, someone is, like, in and out. They like to do them and then dip back out. Okay? You may not see it right when you meet. You, you may not be aware of it right when you meet. But you will start to see similar traits from your past. So make sure you keep an eye out for that because you know what's good for you and you know what's not good for you. Now, okay, let's flip it one more time. King of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this King of Cups is someone that's in the raw state of emotions, okay? Um... They could do or say things because they are paired with the King of Swords. They can do or say things out of spite because they don't know what you're up to. They don't know things that are going on. Or you may say something that triggers that mean side of them to come out. Um, I feel like <laughs> this person, they can be so loving, but when you trigger something in them they're like the tasmanian devil they destroy everything in their path and when they come back to like they snap back to reality it's it's them realizing that they didn't even like they don't even realize that they did that okay so it's like this person could be younger and they could be like oh i said that i did that i don't know it's like they go through a trance when somebody triggered them it may be like a anger management type situation but that's a blockage for you because you're unaware of which way to look at the situation okay and that's for all of the three scenarios it's a blockage because either you haven't seen this person come forward and they're cut off to communication and then the other side of it, if you got two people, it's a blockage because you don't know which one to pick from. Um, now, with the person who has two people, one person will already be the person that you will want to be with. The other person that's coming in will be someone that looks like glitter and glamour. I feel like the decision wouldn't be between what they can do for you. The decision would be... It will be between love, like, not. I'm not saying because this King of Swords is cut off to love that they don't care about you. What I'm saying is this person, their communication is like a stick in the mud. Have y'all ever seen a stick in, in the mud? You can't really, like, get it out? That's kind of how they are. It's like... The in, the situations around y'all will be a pull and a tug, a pull and a tug. Like, here we go again. That's how you will realize that this is a karmic situation. Where you have to stay focused on the path that you want, what you desire. Okay? The next card we do have is the King of Swords. Action, action, action. You haven't seen action. You haven't seen someone just pick up and just whisk and come and get you, okay? And I feel like with the King of Swords, not only is it that, but I feel like this is energy for you as well. So you could be procrastinating. You could See, sometimes we put off things that we feel like, oh, we can do it tomorrow or we could do it the next day. Oh, it'll be there. It'll always be there. Well, this is a question you need to ask yourself. Will it always be there? I mean, if it wasn't there, could you still 
be okay with not going after what you want or trying your dreams or get gaining a new hobby, meditating, will it be there? So I feel like this is you needing to stop pushing things off. If that's saving money, if that's reading a book, you have to do things that you completely want to do. And it's not saying do things that other people want you to do. What do you want to do? Like, that's the question of the day. What do you want to do that's for yourself? I mean, if you want to, leave a comment. If not, that's fine. You can write it down to yourself. You can write a small little list. If you leave a comment, make sure it's three things that you would like to do. Um, if you write it down to yourself, make sure you can write as long as you want to yourself. But just to get everyone else comment in the comments, um, let's just keep it to a minimum of three things. But what do you want to do? Where do you want to be at? And a month, two months, what goals are you setting? This is you realizing that you need to start setting goals if you haven't. It's a blockage for you because you're everywhere. You're up, you're down, you're left, you're right. We go on to the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles could be a money situation. You could have received some abundance that was like a small abundance. But this is you appreciating what's coming towards you. I feel like it's a blockage because you may have received that little bit of money. But the question is, what did you do with it? Did you give back? Did you just spend it? And now you sitting back in the same situation you were in before when you didn't have the money? Do you feel like you're sitting ducks? I feel like somebody feel as though they're stuck. And you, you're probably that stick in the mud. You feel like you're stuck. You can't get out. When it comes to feeling stuck, I feel as though you need to look at things in a different way. Because that second thought that you have, it will be the thought that will help you out of this situation. Okay? And our last blockage we have here is the Eight of Swords. And I apologize, um, you guys, if this video is too long for you. I know some of you like to have short videos, but I feel like the messages are so, so deep that I, I really don't want to shortcut it. I don't want to cut it off and edit it and chop it, okay? Because if if you chop if I chop this video up to make it like ten minutes, you know, twenty minutes, if it's longer than twenty minutes, then I feel like someone's gonna miss the message that they need to hear. So I do apologize for the longness of this video. Um, but let's get into the eight of swords. Again, we go into not seeing truly what's in front of you. Um, again, it's clarity, but I feel like with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles being here, you feel like you're stuck in this situation because you don't know which way you're going. Now, this person is around a whole bunch of swords that could cut them free, but their hands are tied. So, you feel as though... The control you could have in a situation is no longer there. The control you could have within yourself is no longer there. You could be going through a moment of you feeling anxious about things coming together. If this is a love relationship, you could be feeling insecurities around when it comes to this union coming together how as much as you want to be stern in this situation and you know for sure once you talk to this person whoever it is for you that they melt you down like butter 
But this is you needing to know that, yeah, they can melt you down like butter, but do you still want to continue to go through what you've been going through? You have to start setting healthy boundaries, not only for this person, but for yourself. Because if you're out here spending money all willy-nilly, not saying it's not going to come back, but the divine is telling you to save. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, somebody is going through a situation with money that you have no control over. Like maybe someone is holding your money or... Someone could be going through a divorce and you feel like someone wants to take you like for all that you have. It's, it's, it's either a divorce or a separation that I'm seeing. But remember, even in a situation like that, you still hold your highest energy because you may get took for everything, but that doesn't mean things can't be rebuilt. And maybe you want them to take everything so you can start over. Not to say that they're going to take completely everything and leave you high and dry. I feel like you're going to be learning how to minimize your life. So it's not going to be as probably splurgy as you used to be. This is you living off the essentials in life. Not so much as taking other things for granted. It's going to build back. Your, your money situation is going to build back up. It's just you need to learn the value of everything that's being given to you. Let's go into the action that will be coming towards you or the action you will be taking. Ooh. Okay. And you got the fool. Ooh. Okay. So the fool card is taking a leap of faith. It could be a leap of faith into anything, you guys. It could be you taking a leap of faith of not procrastinating or going on a vacation, just popping up, going on a vacation. We coming to the weekend. Tomorrow is TGIF. So you could be like, when I get off work, that's it. I'm hitting the road. Remember, you guys, when you do things that you love, not only that you love or when you travel, one thing I want to say when you travel is, it clears your mind. It helps bring things closer to you. Now, I'm not saying travel, go ahead and travel on a tank of gas that you only got a quarter in there. Be safe when you do this, okay? But what I am saying is this is taking a leap of faith into the unknown and not knowing where you're going, not even knowing where you're going to end up, okay? Um, Now... If you're taking a little trip and you don't know where you're going to end up, make sure you Google it, baby. Just Google me, baby. Hey, hey. Just Google me, baby. Hey. But this is needing to have no strings attached. No control over a situation. Just go. If that's getting out in nature and just feeling the, the wind brush past your skin, there you go. Do things that either you've never done before or that makes you happy. The next card. Y'all, I don't even want to give these cards up. Like, I don't want them to leave my hand. That is bad. I'm sorry. But we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to do this show and tell at the same time. We're going to do two cards. We're going to do two cards for life. We're going to do the show and tell at the same time. Y'all ready? Is y'all ready? Because I'm ready. I'm ready to show y'all. I don't know if y'all ready. So make sure you sitting down. Make sure your feet is planted on the ground. You know, because you might just pass back a little bit. You feel me? You might you might uh, need a sip of water. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it, right? You got the Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Y'all see that? Can y'all... Can can you see it over here? What what about no? I don't want to go up. What about right here? Can can you see it? Can can you see this? Can you? You know this is like an eye exam. 
<laughs> That's so funny. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I got to put this joke in there. I got to tell y'all this joke. So, I was getting my eyes checked. Um, and I tell the, um, I, I don't know what's the proper term to call them, but the eye doctor, that's what I say. I tell the eye doctor, I said, um, he said, flip it. He was like, one or two. And he reminded me of Mr. Clear Eyes, okay, y'all? Uh, so he was like, one or two. And I'm like, they look the same. You have to pick between one or two. <laughs> I don't know why funny things be happening to me, but it be making me laugh, y'all. It be making me laugh. Okay. So, we had a ten of cups here with the nine of cups. I be veering off so much in this in these readings. But, I don't know. I feel like we need to have fun. It's that lighthearted energy is what needs to be put around us. Because if you look at society and you look at everything that's going on, you see so, much thing, so many things that are dark, that are deep. And... Sometimes you just need to laugh. What's wrong with laughing? I don't see nothing wrong with it. But anyway, we go into the Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Emotionally Fulfillment. Like, I feel like everything is going to be hitting you with fulfillment. Things that you thought, thought was not going to take off are going to be taking off. And not only that, this is you having faith in the universe saying... I surrender. And remember, when we surrender, we also surrender even more than we thought we would. And this is you no longer feeling like you in combat. No one wants to feel like they're going to war every day when they wake up. This is you letting go of that, letting go of fear. Telling yourself that you deserve everything that's coming towards you. And the divine is like, uh, yeah, you deserve it. Because here's your wish fulfillment. Your wishes are being granted. The decision is here. I feel like the three of wands, someone is making a decision towards you. Um, they could be deciding how they're going to do this or it could be movement as well because wands are movement. So you could be moving to a new home or they could be moving towards you and you both could be moving in together. But this is you getting picked. This is you realizing that you're about to get this recognition of being picked. This person could see you as the queen of swords right now. Remember, you do not have to be a female to embody the queen of swords. You can be a male. Um, but the queen of swords is being guarded as well as being open to hearing them out. Um, when they come forward, they want to make sure that you don't, it's not to say that you don't put them down, but it's to say like, you don't judge them for what they're doing or what they had to go through to get here. Okay. And it's, it's not a bad judge them. I feel like the judge them is <clears throat> knowing that they love you and no understanding why you had, they had to step away from you. But this is you being guarded, setting healthy boundaries, realizing that you no longer want to go through that BS. Or you no longer want to go through the past relationships that you've been through where you didn't speak up. This is you speaking up for what you want. Not letting someone else tell you what you want and where y'all going to go and what y'all going to do and how y'all going to do it. This is you saying, okay, you know how if you see somebody, they use the restroom and they leave the toilet seat up. And most people don't like that. So this is you saying, look, hey. But you're saying it in a nice way. Hey, I don't like, you know, when you leave the toilet up. Can, can you try, you know, next time to put it down? And it's saying it in a, in a nice way, but at the same time getting your point across, okay? At the bottom of the day. Hey. See? We have the Ace of Wands. Action, movement, communication. Ew, ew. Let's go into the outcome, you guys. Let's go into the outcome. Welcome to the good life. Hey. Okay, we have birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your questions. 
Who got a birthday coming up? Mm-hmm. Happy birthday in advance. If I missed it, happy birthday. So you have autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. Okay, I'm going to take these and that's it. Because I, I feel like my whole deck sometimes be wanting to fall out. Okay. All right, all right, that's it. We have dietary changes. Improve your diet and your life will also improve. Ooh, everything's okay. Don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. Let that worry go. Oh my goodness, oh, I forget. But it, it's a um. Back in the day, we used to be like, let your backbone slip. So <laughs> I was gonna say, let that worry slip down your backbone. But don't judge me. We have emotional healing. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings of love. Affirmations. To lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. Perfect timing. This is the right time for more, oh excuse me, this is the right time for you to move forward. Business venture, trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. And the last card of all is what we all need to realize that we need more of. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. So I hope you all enjoyed this reading. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As well as everyone, please make sure your bell notifications are turned on. And if you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, I mean, like, what are you waiting for? So I will see you guys in the next videos. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.